Okay. 2G, solving inequalities, fluency, question number six and question number seven. Solve these inequalities involving brackets. So, when solving inequalities regarding brackets, I treat it as the same as an equation, except I've got to be on the lookout for when I multiply by a negative number and when I divide by a negative number. Okay, so I've got 4 times this bracket, and on the right-hand side I've got 12. 4 goes into 12, so I'm going to divide by 4 first. 4 is a positive number, so I don't have to worry about the inequality sign. That will stay like that. 4 goes into 12 three times, x plus 2. Then I minus 2 from both sides, x is less than positive 1. And I didn't have to worry about changing the inequality sign because I never multiply divided by a negative number. So salt, that's done. Part B, um, 3 does go into 9, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3 to start off with, which means I need to change my inequality sign around. That's 9 goes through negative 3 goes into 9 negative 3 times, and I've got a plus 5, then minus 5 and minus 5. a is less than minus 8 is going to be my answer. And looking at question number 7 out of fluency, I've got 2x on the left and 6x on the right. So I am going to put all of the x's on the right-hand side. And then I've got my 9 on the left, and the 1 will become positive 1. So I've moved the 2x to the right-hand side, and it ended up negative 2x. And I moved the negative 1 to the left-hand side, and it ended up being positive 1. It gives me 10 is less than or equal to 4x. Divide both sides by 4. I don't have to worry about the inequality sign. x is less than, bigger than or equal to 5 on 2. And I would then rearrange that with x on the right-hand side. And since it's opening out to x, that gets flipped around. And x is bigger than or equal to 5 on 2. And that's fluency 5 and 7 from 2g.